Hello and welcome to this week's Oracle card reading. Okay, so we have three options here as usual and we have option one, two and three and we are using the Madame and Dora's uh, fortune cards. So please make a selection and you can go directly down to the timestamp below uh, where you will find your reading. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and begin with the option here. Number one, I'm going to go ahead and give the cards a shuffle. So the question we're asking is, what is it that you need to know for this week? What is the advice that is pertinent to you at this moment, whenever it is that you access this reading? Okay, and we have the Queen. So let me just place that here for you. All right, so the card we have is the Queen, and uh, the caption is Love and Prosperity. All right, so I feel that what this is saying to you right now is that you are the queen or the king or the master of your life at this pre at this moment it is yours for the taking you can do whatever it is that you'd like to do with it and it will be successful okay you need not be concerned about financial issues and you need not be concerned about security you need not be concerned about dominance or dominion it's all within your reach at present so the other thing i'm hearing here is that um, you have everything that it takes that it, you need right now to be able to effect uh, the life that you desire and uh, to bring into your world all that you wish to manifest. So it's as if the slates have been cleared or um, and like the information or the, the learning and the, the difficulties and everything else that is in the past has been compacted or compressed and has now been stored within you as bullets of information and bullets of wisdom and understanding and an ability to be strategic, an ability to be wise, an ability to be uh, to make good business decisions. And basically what I'm hearing is that you have all that it takes to be able to do everything that you want at this moment. Okay. The other thing I'm hearing here is that you can, in fact, go ahead and uh, make walk the path that you've been wanting to do so, that you've been wanting to, that you've been drawn to, or that you wish that you could do, but you haven't been able to. So what I'm hearing there, here is that there might have been something that you've wanted for the last eight or nine years, uh, or that you had the opportunity for about eight or nine years ago, and then it didn't come to bear. And so now you've actually you have the opportunity for you to go ahead and make it happen. You have the opportunity for it to actually um, just do it. And what I'm also hearing is that it's not going to be as simple. Um, not that it's going to be difficult, but it's not going to fall on your lap. What, is, what I'm hearing, it's not that it's not going to be simple, but it's not going to fall on your lap. You, you are the one who needs to initiate this. You are the one who needs to carve this out. And you are the one who needs to take this block of stone and, and make that sculpture from it. Uh, sculpture from it. You, need, you need to be able to, to carve that stone. And that's going to take a bit of time. It's going to take um, the, you know, a time to finish it. It's going to take uh, the bullet, uh, like more kind of um, finesse to be able to do it in a very fine way. But the other thing I'm hearing here is that you have to make that decision, okay? You need to, to take that decision to say, okay, I'm actually going to take this block now and I'm going to, to uh, carve something out of it. Or I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to find a block that I can carve something out of because I've had this idea in my head and I think this is what my calling is and I need to actually follow it. So now I'm going to take, take that and, and do that. Uh, for those of you where that doesn't apply, um, 
I think that uh, one of the things I'm hearing here is that, um, apologies, that sometimes there's tiny bits of dust here that I don't actually note. Uh, I can't really see it with the with the with the um, the naked eye, uh, but when I when I'm on the video, then I note that it comes through. So basically, what I was trying to say here, um, the the other message I have for you, for those of you uh, with whom this doesn't resonate is that uh, well well you know the the idea of something that you need to carve out in your life is that there are parts in your life uh, or things in your life where you've been, um, you've tried to be somebody that others would accept. You've tried to be somebody that would be a part of a community, that would be a part of a family, that would be a friend to others. And you've molded yourself to be this person to the others. But in fact, what's happened is that You've actually uh, lost an aspect of yourself that you need to regain. And this card, the Queen and Love and Prosperity, right now refers to you actually taking back that, taking back the love and prosperity, taking back that of you, which is your power and who you are, and creating the life that you that is authentic to you or that you know you can have um, and that might mean it doesn't necessarily mean that you can go about and change your whole life now but what it could mean is that you you start to be somebody else um, within your context of friends families uh, family associates uh, in your work environment and in fact who you are is somebody that uh, is more authentic to what you really are and it's like parts of you that have been hidden away or um, that you put away because you just didn't think there was space for it in the world well now is the time for you to be able to create that space to be that uh, of that complete you that you might have hidden away or you might have been afraid to show or you might not have been had the place or the space to be able to to be that person because others needed something else from you and this card is saying you are the queen you are the the in a, in a, this applies to you if you're a male as well you are the actual ruler yeah you have complete dominion of your own life and it's time for you to recognize that and actually take that back and for some of you it would mean going back and changing something or doing something that you thought you should have done but you may, might have been ousted for some particular reason you might not have been able to do it for some reason and for others of you it's um, on a more uh, ba the quotidian basis you know the way in which you interact with people uh, the way in which you you what you share with people um, one example that's coming to mind here is that you may not be uh, completely honest with people. Not that you lie to them, but you might reserve your opinion in some um, in some instances because you don't necessarily want to hurt somebody's feelings or you don't want to upset them or you don't want them to see you in a particular light. Well, now is the time for you to actually be honest, completely honest about what it is that you think, what it is that you, you believe and actually share this with them. And regardless of what their opinion would be, their opinion and their reaction is none of your business is what I'm hearing. It's none of your concern. You don't need to be concerned about that. Your concern at this moment as the queen in which love and prosperity reigns is that you need to simply be who you are and you don't need to do that uh, with you know in terms of having a responsibility to others you need simply to have that responsibility towards yourself and so yeah that is basically what i'm hearing for those of you who've chosen this card here i feel however that i could go on speaking um, but I feel like I could speak about this card and, and what it means in each of your lives for like hours, for literally an hour at least. But I, I, I don't want to do that um, in the weekly Oracle card uh, readings. So, um, yeah, I hope you, that you can take uh, something from what I've said here and that it is re uh, relevant to you and that it does resonate and that you are able to be the queen of your lives in order to be able to effect this love and prosperity that's waiting for you to actually, uh, you know, to, to, to grow into your life, to, to be a part of your life. So I thank you, uh, those of you who've come by today um, and have chosen the first option here. And I'm going to just move on.
to the next option. Yes, for those of you who've chosen the number two deck, we are using the Madame Adora's fortune cards here. And what is it that you need to know for this week? What is, what is the message for you for the, this week, for those of you who've chosen the option two? And what is it that those of you who've chosen option two need to hear? Please give me the message that resonates with you. And I think it's this one. Oh, yeah. It's serendipity. So it says, bright new prospects on the horizon. And I like how the color in the card basically uh, somehow matches to the, this bracelet here. So it's basically serendipity. And it says, bright new prospects on the horizon. And what I'm feeling here is there's like a star-like, uh, a kind of star-like uh, quality that you have right now. Um, I'm not talking about cold and distant in terms of star like I'm talking I'm not talking about a kind of celeb status that you might have or that you may be on stage or or that you know you may be considered in a particular light that's not what I'm referring to what I mean is that it's like you're sparkling like a star it's like you have this this almost like this angelic quality to you right now in which there is a knowing and a confidence and an, an understanding of exactly who you are and what it is that you need. And that's really interesting because the card before you, there was still like this, uh, like this, uh, the, the person, the people who chose the card before you, it was like they needed to sort of still take that and to, to actually grab onto that. But you, you have this already, and this would be the natural kind of uh, um, transformation that you, you know, that you would go through, or that you, where you'd find yourself as a result of having done the work of those of, who've chosen the first option, um, which I've just read out in the first ten minutes. So basically, um, what does this mean? This means that. You've arrived in many aspects of your life. It means that there's a calm that exists within you. There's a resonance, there's balance, that the space in which we are right now, the time and space in which we are right now is in alignment, okay? And I feel that uh, things could start getting a bit busy or a little bit turbulent and uh, in the, by next week or in a few days from now. But right now where you are, you can actually take a moment to understand and to appreciate the serenity that you have within you. Um, and I know the card speaks of serendipity, but um, I'm feeling, what I'm feeling is peace. What I'm feeling is bliss. And I'm feeling serenity. And I feel also that, um, that there's a knowing and a grace that you have about the knowing. It's not like you know and you're charging forth to be able to create something or do something. It's like there's this knowing that you have, but you don't need to do anything about it. You can just bask in the knowing. And you don't need to step out into the spotlight and you don't need to share this with anyone. And you don't need to actually uh, be anything to anyone else right now. But right now, inside of you is this jewel, this part of you which is true to you and where you are in alignment with your soul and your life path and you are in alignment with that authentic part of you and it's simply to enjoy this it's simply just to surrender to this and enjoy this and sparkle as you have been sparkling and um or as you you've come to be at this moment because what i feel is that this is not necessarily the case all the time. Yeah, this is not your life. This is not uh, exactly who you are and what you are. It's just that right now you have this jewel and you have this space that you've come to in which everything is in alignment and everything is going according to plan and you have all that it takes and that there's nothing that you need to do actually and that you can simply bask in this beauty of this light and this of the wisdom and knowing uh, all that you are 
and um, I feel that you're pretty pretty much alone here in this feeling. It's not like you need to share this with somebody. It's not like you need to scream it out on rooftops to the world. It's like you sitting on your chair at home, your favorite chair with a cup of tea or a mug for something, and you have this feeling, like this twinkling, uh, sparkling feeling inside of you in your and you're around the heart chakra, between the heart chakra and the solar plexus. And it's like you know, you know at this moment how special you are. And you know that you are one with yourself. And you know that you have been good. And that you, what I mean by that, you have been good. It's not about judgment. It's not about what's right and wrong. I'm not talking about morally good. I'm talking about being authentic to yourself, being true to yourself, being who you are. And when you, it's like you're sitting there and you have this and you have this knowing and that is the most satisfying and the most blissful experience that you can have uh, because as I said it's like you've arrived you're there there's nothing more that you need to do and for those of you who are not feeling this at all and you you don't know what I'm talking about and, and you're about to give me a, a dislike <laughs> I don't mind if you do that by the way uh, yeah if you actually are feeling that this doesn't resonate with you at all then I would suggest that you actually take a moment to feel where this could potentially be true for you uh, because perhaps it's there, perhaps it's under layers of toxicity or layers of worry or layers of frustration um, and you just need to clear away that in order to be able to feel it again. It's like a cloudy night and you need to be able to clear away the clouds so you can see the stars sparkling again or twinkling in the sky. And I'm, what I'm hearing here is that with regard to this card and the message on this card is that this feeling that you have inside of you already is going to give you the sense of serendipity. It's going to give you the sense of serendipity with the world, with the universe, with the with the higher power. And, um, and it's not as if you need to connect with people with regard to this, but rather that this is what it is where you come into alignment with your soul, with your being, with your creator, um, and you are at one with that. You're, not, you're no longer searching. You're no longer grasping. You're no longer desperate to find a solution. It's as if you have the solution at hand. And the message here is bright, pros bright new prospects are on the horizon. And I think that this cannot be untrue in the light of what it is that you have before you okay so when you what I mean by that is that when you have this feeling that everything is in alignment and all is well even if it's just for a millisecond that you have this and it's a beautiful feeling inside of you that you know it's all okay and it's all true I feel that at this moment this moment of alignment, this moment of knowing, this moment of being one with your soul, being one with this earth, being one with your creator, uh, being one with everything around you, not needing to yell it out to the world, but simply being one and knowing this. I feel that in this moment come forth so many blessings, so many abundant blessings. And you are able to create new bright prospects uh, in your you know in your future and it is on your horizon as a result simply by the fact that you were able to align yourself completely in a particular context completely within all that exists and this is something that i think that uh, everyone has from time to time and uh you know, if you don't, it's it's. I feel that you might feel pretty lost in your life. Uh, but I, I think that what this card, why this card has come up today, and why this is a message for you, is because you need to recognize or you need to know that when you, because you have this inside of you, even if it's cluttered or covered up by something else, because. When you have this and when you feel this and you can feel it in every cell of your being and you're vibrating in this essence of serendipity and bliss in this world, then you have the ability to create 
all that you desire as a result of that feeling which you have inside of you. So once again, I want to refer to the previous reading in which I basically uh, suggested to the uh, to the viewer to go out and sculpt that which is yours, what you want to create for your life. But here, it's not like you need to do that. It's as if when you have this feeling inside of you, okay, when you recognize, when you come into this alignment, when you, when you step into that vibration in which all is complete in your life, then you have created it already. You've created it simply by that emotion. You've created it simply by feeling that way. Because it's like at that moment uh, that you, everything that you've been preparing until now is uploaded into the universe. And as a result, uh, it's going to start creating for you. And you simply just need to be. You simply need to be. And at times, you simply need to step back into this moment where you felt complete oneness with all that's around you. So I think that is the message that I have for you for today. And let me know how it works out for you. And let me know if you have this feeling, which I'm feeling inside of me for you at this moment. Um, yeah, I hope that's resonated with you and many blessings to all of you. I'm going to move now. Um, I'm going to move on now to uh, the next card, uh, the next option, which is your option number three, which is um, this little thing here. If those of you have chosen that. We are asking, what is it that we need to know for the week ahead? What is the information that you've come here to receive? What resonates with you right now? What is it that you need to know or to hear at this moment? What is your weekly guidance? So this is for you. What is the weekly guidance for those of you who have chosen the third option? And that's what it is. Okay, so we have the menstrual here. And the card reads, let your intentions be known. Okay, so I feel that um, the way in which you need to let your intentions be known is not necessarily by speaking the words out loud here. It's not necessarily by, by doing that. In fact, the way in which you need to let your intentions be known is in fact to, um, it is to, it is in a way that's more subtle. It's in a way that draws people in. So I'm getting all kinds of context here and uh, this is not so airy and esoteric like the others. But basically what I'm hearing here is that there is a situation that needs to be dealt with where you have not been actually speaking your mind and um, or you've been afraid to. And it's not as if you can go on and just speak your your mind right now. It's not really possible to do that. What it, What is necessary, however, is that, pardon, what is necessary at this moment is for you to be able to speak your truth or to be able to let your intentions be known, as the card says, in a way that does not hurt others or is taking into account their feelings and is taking into account what it is that is important for them, okay? So uh, the other cards or the other, uh, what, I've, what I've read so far had was really very much about uh, the, the viewer and what it is that's important to them. But this card is more about those around you and how it is that you uh, present yourself to them. So I feel the, the, the sense I keep getting here is that you're shy and that you're not able to speak truth or you're afraid of how they you will be received. And or, or you're not, you, this is not necessarily your demeanor um, um, as, you know, as a, on a daily basis. I'm not doing predictive readings here. I'm simply just talking about a feeling that you might have within a particular context, okay? I'm not saying that you are shy. Um, but uh, so within a particular context, when you're dealing with a particular situation where this message is relevant to, uh, you need to actually 
and open the gate. It's like you're opening this gate and allow your energy to flow through. And right now, what I feel is that the gate is closed and you are behind the gate. And you're not even allowing the, the energy to flow through to the others. You're not even allowing that to, to touch them. And I want to say that maybe all you need to do is just open the gates so that you can allow yourself to feel the way you're feeling. Give yourself the permission to be able to feel what you're feeling and get, play with the idea in your head. How would they respond if you actually... Uh, behaved in this particular way you know allow allow yourself to to dream about it to fantasize about it or to to wonder what it may be like and I think if you do that um, what you might find is that you've already impacted the situation in a positive way you've, or, or not positive but you've already impacted the situation in the way in which you've needed it to be impacted and uh, the other thing I'm feeling here is that it's as if you need to um, sing your tune, you know, it's like a snake charmer. Uh, they play a particular tune and the snake uh, reacts to that. And it's also almost as if you need to be, um, it's not manipulative, but it is like if you want to have a particular reaction, you need to understand what impacts the other and how it, they will be impacted. So don't be afraid to impact them or don't be afraid to have a particular consequence or particular um, outcome, uh, except that that is the outcome that you desire or that you need in a particular situation for things to work out the way they are going to work out uh, in your perspective. And then go about doing this in a way that the others will respond to it. Not because you're taking them by the throat and saying you've got to do this or you have to do this right now or, you know, it's not about that. It's about getting them to do it because they want to do it. But I'm not saying that you need to manipulate them. I'm saying that when you, when you do this, this will resonate for them as well as for you. Okay, so how is it that you are able uh, to actually get people or get those around you or whoever this... Um, you know, whoever you're dealing with in this matter, to to come to the same page by you. Where is it that you both overlap? Where is it that you can have a little bit of an allowance for them and they could potentially rise to that occasion and have an allowance for you as well? And I'm not hearing conflict here, although this, this may apply to some of you who are in conflict situations. Uh, I'm not hearing that, but what I am hearing is that there is some need to be for things to be resolved here. There is something to be resolved. There is something that's un, no, not unfinished, but it's it's in the process and it's in the early stages. And in order for you to have your say in this matter, you need to actually recognize that you are the one who plays the tune. You are the one who is strumming this uh, banjo or. Uh, um, mandolin or whatever this instrument is, pardon my ignorance, and uh, you are the one who actually can be part of this tapestry that will allow the other person to be who they are. So it's as if you need to be playing this in the background, so to affect a particular emotion. So I'll give you another analogy, okay? Let's say that you are a um, you are there to perform um, in a yeah to perform some music for some people. Okay, what you need to be able to do here is to be able to fade into the background and allow the music uh, to actually speak to the people that you want to have an impact on. And so let them rise out of their chairs and let them move to the music and let them. Let the music let the music speak to their souls. So let them allow that. Let them be the one who makes the decision to actually rise to the occasion. Because what I feel here is that you want something from somebody or you want something from a certain person. Um, and it's difficult for you to let them know. Because if you say to them, hey, this is what I want from you. Okay, so if you say to them, this is how I see you, and this is what I want from you, and, and this is where I think that you would grow and you would be abundant, and this is where I think you will be uh, the best that you can be. If you say this to them, uh, you're afraid that 
you won't be received very well. And I, the, the chances are that you won't. But if you play a particular tune in which you fade into the background and they rise up to that occasion, however it is that you do it, you know, perhaps it means that you've got to uh, create a set, certain set of circumstances for that person to feel comfortable enough to be able to take that path. You know, perhaps the only thing that's stopping that person is actually fear or a lack of confidence or a lack of ability uh, or a lack of knowing of their own ability. Uh, because I feel that it's not um, about a lack of ability here, but it's rather about uh, just knowing, uh, you know, having um, having the, the knowing. They're not willing to do this because you are, um, sorry, they're not willing to do this because they are afraid or they don't know that they can do this. And what I'm hearing that you need to do is let your intentions be known, but by actually creating the perfect environment for them to be able to grow into and to rise into. Is this manipulation? I don't think so. I think this is a kind of uh, support that you're offering. It's a, it's kind of um, creating the perfect substrate for a, a plant or a seedling to sprout in. And so uh, this is what I think that this card is about. And this is what I think your message is for today. It's a bit of a, it's quite a specific message. And it's it's not something I was really expecting, but I feel that this is what I need to say to you. You need to be the minstrel in your life right now, and you need to let your intentions be known in the most subtle and the most graceful in an artistic manner. And I would like to say thank you for those of you who've come by today. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising, and much love to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.